Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to write the first test case in robot frameworks. So in our last video, we talked about the introduction of frameworks as well as we talked the features of the frameworks and we saw whatever required for installing. So if you have not watched that video, please go and watch it and then come back here. So here, basically, we are going to write the test case and that test case we are going to write in PyCharm. So now here we'll see how to create project in PyCharm what exactly is needed to basically start working with the projects and how to write the test cases. These few things we'll keep in mind. Now, these are the steps. First, we'll create a project. Second, we will add Selenium library. Third, we will add Selenium robot frameworks. Then we are going to write a test case. Later, these four sections, defining the settings, defining the keywords, library, and test cases. So these four sections you will have every time when you're writing a test cases. Now, it's your choice what you have to define here. So we'll go through this as well, the settings, keywords, variable test cases, but maybe not in this or in another video, but we will go through all of this as well. Okay. Now, this is how the test cases looks. This is how we write. This is just a glimpse or you can see a picture where it shows how the test cases are written. So in setting cases, in setting sections, basically we put the libraries which we are going to import. In test cases sections, we put the test cases. Basically, we write the steps and this is how we write the step. So in first test case, I'm going to do a very simple thing. That is, I'm going to open a website. So here I'm not writing a proper code because I have not given any explanation on the keywords or uh, how the test cases steps are written. Here, just we are giving a glimpse of how the test case looks like and how we write it. Later, we'll go slow and slow. We'll go with other parts of the videos, uh, other parts of the content as well. Now, let's get back to our PyCharm. So let me start my PyCharm that's here. So it's not started yet. So I'll start my PyCharm here. And in this, we are going to create a project. Let's wait for the PyCharm to open. Now here are the list of basically the list of the installed items, whatever we have installed the last day. Why is the PyCharm not opening? Maybe let me open the PyCharm again. Now the PyCharm is open here. So here, this was a project that I was working on before. So I'm removing this from the list. Now I'm going with the very first project. So click on new project. Here you can give the name of project, the name that you like. I'll give as a robot frameworks. That's better. And do create. Now when you create, you'll see a folder, uh, basically a project will create with name as Robot Frameworks. Now in this Robot Frameworks, first thing is we need to add few packages to our project. That's important and that you have to do every time because we'll be using these packages later. So first you will go to this, you'll go from here to settings and in first go to file, from file go to settings. And here is the file on top. From there, I go to settings. Now here you see this project. The name of the project is Robot Frameworks. Now inside this project, go to Python interpreter. After you click on this Python interpreter, here you see the plus sign. Click on this. Now here you are going to search for certain packages, like first one will be Selenium. Install package. Now 
now let's wait for this to install it's to, it will take some time now we'll install three things here first we will install selenium second we will install robot frameworks and after that we will install selenium libraries these three things are important so the first one selenium is installed close it again do plus and right here this time robot framework now this is robot frameworks so click on install package now this time robot frameworks is installed now it's installing robot frameworks after robot frameworks is installed the next thing we are going to search for here is robots frameworks das don't forget to give das because you'll not be able to find this selenium library you see i have found the selenium library now again you have to click on install package and this time i am installing robot frameworks dat selenium libraries so remember these three packages you have to install for selenium second one robot frameworks and the third one is robot frameworks selenium libraries so you close this and you see you have robot frameworks selenium library here again selenium here robot frameworks here all of this here that means all the packages needed is done now we are going we are moving towards the pro, uh, writing the test cases so here either you can create the test cases outside anywhere inside robot frameworks project or i would suggest does do right click create a new directory named it directory as automation so a directory is built with the name as automation now inside automation you need to create a new file and the file name i'll give as test dot robot dot robot is the extension don't forget to give dot robot because it's the extension and it's required test dot robot extension is required to write a frameworks now remember the next thing here uh, so a file is built now we are going to write steps here so when you are writing the steps be quite clear that this is a case sensitive section that means now here as i mentioned we have to add four sections first is settings second is variables third is test cases and the last one will be the keywords we will see the working of each section one by one first one is settings now you see when you search for settings remember the settings the first letter s will always be in capital i wrote it in small so just to make note just to make this point that if i'm writing in small though i take the capital one but still the setting seems to be here in the small letter so instead of doing this do capital settings now in settings first light library name of the library that you want to import so i want to import selenium library that's fine so i have import the selenium library next thing i have to add the variables so this time i'll go write variables v in caps the variable section is here now i'm not adding anything inside the variables make it quite clear and later we will add it first i want to write the test cases now go for test cases this is the test cases section and the fourth section here will be keywords so these are the four sections all of these sections in settings we add the documentary things or you say the libraries we basically import the libraries here in this project i'm importing the selenium libraries in variables we'll create variables so that the repetition of steps will not be required in test cases we will write genuine test cases and in keywords what we can do it's like we can define the complete test case inside the keywords and we can give a specific name based on that specific name we can execute the test cases this is a brief description of these four sections i'll go in details right now i'm just writing the test cases so in the first case what i'm going to do is open amazon website that's a simple thing i'm doing after this i'll write the test uh, i'll work with different sections i'll make things more complicated or i can say more difficult then you will find it more interesting right right now let's just make it easy so first here amazon website now here you have to write open browser these are the keywords 
after writing open browser don't forget to press the tab button because if you don't press the tab button and if you write the same thing like right now i have pressed the tab button so i'm able to write but just write if see next line if i start passing the website link the color doesn't changes so it's important that the tab button should be click and the color keeps changing www dot amazon dot com done now again give tab chrome so this basically here and i see here also i have given tab don't forget to give tab in fact for proper spacing of our placing you can put the tab twice here also i have given the tab twice but don't forget to click the tab button because open browser will be one section the website is another section and the tools that you want to open are basically the operating system that you want to open that's another section now next line i am writing sleep again i press tab twice and i say five sleep five means before closing the browser it will open for five seconds that's what it means now next one it means close browser fine these are the three steps that i want to execute here mention opening the website opening it for 5 seconds and after that we will close it got it now after this you see this terminal option go to this terminal option here now this shows the location of your project now just to move to the next step but here in this is the location robot framework this is the location of your project now to run this project or run this file first write the keyword as robot now this file is inside the folder automation so write the folder name give forward slash write test.robot test.robot is the name of our file press enter now when you do this you see the amazon website opens it will hold for 5 second and close by itself see how easy and how good it is see you find it so easy it mentioned one test passed one test you have written and that one test case passed as well as you see these three html files are added by itself usually when used to do in case of selenium or when used to write framework selenium framework code there you need to create these project sessions you need to write code for this but in this case if you check report.html you do right click here go to open in and here it says browser and i want to open it in firefox browser so here you see it gives you the detailed report of your test case that which the how many test case you run what's the status of the test case everything start time end time everything is available here so this is also built by itself so you'll find robot frameworks very easy and interesting by seeing these test cases and seeing these steps because you don't need to write codes but it's not that simple future in later you'll come up this where you'll be writing the codes as well and you'll explore things more but writing the test cases in simple english language is the best section of robot frameworks and this is how we'll be writing the test cases now this is how we write the test cases i hope it's quite clear now in next video i'll talk about these variables i'll talk about the keywords i'll say how to use this variables keyword have more commands and all so that will make you more familiar with the frameworks so i hope you enjoyed the in this video see you next video till then bye bye thank you